We are starting printmaking today. I am, <coughs> here's two that we, um, that I completed last year. This is a one of Buddha. This is a Florida Lee. I have picked out today um, Harry Potter. You are going to find something that you want to do. I will figure out what the best um, way to print this. It, I looked up clip art, black and white. When I wanted to look up Harry Potter, I said black and white clip art. Okay, you are going to email me. I'm going to fi figure out what the best size will be so that it fits onto a block. Okay, so I will do this Ganesha later. But today I want to show you how to get started on this. After you get your picture, you are going to trace around the contour of your image. Okay, press pretty hard. We're going to do what's called a transfer. So after I do this all the way around, I'm going to take my image and I'm going to place it on the linoleum stamp and I'm going to take something, whatever that may be. Right now, it's scissors. Okay, I'm going to make sure that it's transferring over onto the block, which it looks like it is. I may have to go over it a couple times. You literally can use anything you want for this. I could take my card here. Your ID, whatever you have. Make sure my image transferred. It did. So what I want you guys to do from here is you are going to take a Sharpie and I want you to go back and I want you to outline what you just transferred. Same thing here, same thing here, okay. I can, for something that's fairly skinny like this, I can just fill it in. You don't have to do, if it's a big place like the hair on mine, you don't have to do that, okay. So I would come in, fill these up. The black areas that I'm filling in, the black areas you have here, they are going to be what you do not cut out. Okay, the black is going to be what stamps your image. This is taking a while. I'm only going to do one side of these glasses so I can show you guys how to begin cutting. These are our linoleum cutters. You can see they are different. They have different tips on them. This one obviously is a wide one. This one here has more of a square. This one is one that you will pull back. It's fairly thin. This one obviously tiny, tiny, tiny. This is again kind of a, a different. So you guys are gonna play around first. Here's a knife. If I wanted to use this um, to go around, you would go right around the outside. You can get a pretty nice cut that way um, so you don't slip. I could either take this and come around like that to, on a small spot, but if I am, if I'm pretty good at this right away, I can hold my hand and be pretty steady going around, okay? You want to go away from yourself, never go back. These things are sharp. Okay, so you're going to try to stay along the edge. Okay. Once you get to this part and you get a little bit deeper, you can start 
um, you can add some things like this, which will print some designs. You may choose to, what I did here was I, I added these lines here. Totally up to you what you want to do. Um, I'm going to do both of mine, and I think I may end up doing something a little bit different. Um, I may carve out all of this. It, it's just up to you. I am also going to, before you begin, I'm going to um, give you guys a practice piece so you can play around with that today. Okay. <clears throat> 